a form of drama, docudrama, which takes original and real life, in this case, transcripts of the Atomic Energy Commission's hearing, security clearance hearings for J. Robert Oppenheimer, the father of the atomic bomb, and it takes those and sculpts that, those transcripts into a narrative and to a really fascinating play, uh, which is unbelievably timely at the moment, as well as being and asking really interesting questions. On the 12th of April, 1954, a few minutes to ten. J. Robert Oppenheimer. I do play Oppenheimer, and I, but I also play other characters, like, such as Morgan and uh, Rob. And I'd say the challenges are actually finding that distinction between the different characters. I love getting to play Oppenheimer for a scene. A few of the actors in the show get to do where we'll just rotate. So for me, it's the most interesting flip, I think, going from the guy who's like yelling at Oppenheimer to being the guy getting yelled at. It's, like, it's cool. Um. Dr. Oppenheimer is president's witness in his own case. This inquiry is not a so, trial. Part of what will help you is the announcement of that. This inquiry is not a trial, ladies and gentlemen. I play uh, the character of Gordon Gray, who is quite stoic. So it's really fun and challenging to find all the nuances in that character and uh, really bring it to life and sort of bring history back to life in, the, in a way that um, audiences nowadays can understand and relate to and, and hopefully apply to current political circumstances. The evening before this investigation, Senator McCarthy said in a television interview, If there are no communists in our government, why do we delay the hydrogen bomb by 18 months? The text is challenging because every word is so important and there's so much detail within every line, every paragraph, and everything sort of has meaning and everything connects to what's been said previously by different characters or connects to a point later. So you have to be really conscious about the words that you're using and how you are using the words. We just have a lot of like documents that all look sort of the same and you need to know where each of them is at any given point and like track all of that. I want people to feel that they are sort of intimately involved in the questions that the play presents and that, that they see the echoes of what happened in 1954 in today's world and how we live in today's very complex and morally complex world. <laughs>